Good evening. There are new developments tonight in the case of a city councilman accused of abusing the power of his position. And tonight, Paul Inslee says his comments were misunderstood. He sat down with 15 Finds Out investigator Alyssa Ivinson today, and this is the second time you've actually talked to him trying to get some answers. That's right. I caught up with Ensley last night after city council. We showed him the police report where he was quoted threatening a police officer's job when the officer was responding to a domestic disturbance Monday morning. Ensley was adamant that he did not say that and that he had a recording of the incident that proved it. In Ensley's video he sent us, he does say he'll call Public Safety Director Rusty York, but he didn't say what the rest of the police report said, that he'd, quote, have the officer's job. Then this afternoon, Ensley spoke to me in more detail, saying he had requested a supervisor to be called to the scene and the officer did not radio one. He says that's why he told the officer he would call York. In the video, you can hear the officer take that statement as a threat. Now, I also sat down with Public Safety Director Rusty York today, and I asked him what he thought about Ensley dropping his name during an encounter with police. I can only say, I, for a public official, I don't think that's very appropriate. That's, that's all I have to say. So you don't feel you were using your stature as a city councilman inappropriately? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Someone could argue that name dropping the high public official would be a threat without saying a threat. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Again, again, in no way was I threatening this officer. Um, you know, I had requested a supervisor to be there given the, the tone of the situation. And um, when no supervisor was called by the officer, I had request, I had just let him know that I would be contacting a supervisor. So, New tonight at 6, hear what the head of the Republican Party in Allen County had to say about Ensley using Rusty York's name. Also, hear what York thinks about the officer taking Ensley's comment as a threat. Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15. The controversy surrounding Paul Inslee has created a mix of emotions among his constituents. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson talked with people who live in the district he represents. She continues our coverage in Studio 15. Well, I walked through a few neighborhoods in the district that Paul Inslee represents, knocking on doors and talking to residents about the councilman and his recent run-ins with police. There's a range of reaction, some questioning if he can handle the job, others still confident in his ability to represent the district. A little over two months serving as councilman and Paul Inslee is already making waves. He should be held to higher standards. Michael Miller isn't feeling forgiving. He thinks Inslee went too far. I think he should step down. Um, you know, I'm one to say, hey, forgive somebody, but, uh, you know, this has happened too many times. At question, a dispute with an officer over a domestic dispute. A police report says Inslee threatened to have the officer's job. What's concerning for some people in the district is what they consider an abuse of power. It's disappointing to hear our councilman to try to use his uh, status as uh, in that way. We give the Fort Wayne Police Department credit. You know, he did his job and wasn't going to be uh, coerced into you know letting somebody off the hook. But not everyone is angry. One woman who preferred to remain anonymous says people should give Ensley the benefit of the doubt. I think that Paul Ensley probably had justified reasons to say and do what he did. Um, I think we should give him the benefit of the doubt since we don't know um, the whole situation. She says what goes on in his personal life is none of the public's business. Paul Ensley's personal situation should be um, kept out of this and he is a city representative and we should stay focused on that. Inslee has said multiple times that he will not be stepping down from city councilmen. In Studio 15, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15. In addition to talking with the people in the 1st District who elected Inslee, we asked Allen County Republican Party Chairman Steve Shine his thoughts on the whole situation. He acted the way he was supposed to act in a domestic violence situation. He was the victim uh, at the hands of a perpetrator who did bodily injury to him over the weekend. And rather than Paul uh, engaging uh, the perpetrator, he chose the right path, and that was to defuse the situation. Shine went on to say that Ensley will have no repercussions within the Republican Party because he was the victim. People on our Facebook page are also weighing in on what they think about the situation. David kept it short, saying councilmen should be stepping down. Tracy said, this is what happens when people don't vote. 
Deborah stuck up for Paul Inslee, saying, I'm almost always on the side of the police department, but I think they were in the wrong this time, especially after hearing what was recorded. Christina made mention to the fact that Inslee doesn't think the city should have a public safety director saying, I thought you didn't like Rusty York. And finally, Mark says, I'm very interested in this case. Was the councilman a victim? Sounds that way. Well, just a mattress in an upstairs bedroom. Now, according to the police report, that's the only furniture inside the Northside farmhouse where this whole thing went down. And News Channel 15, Sarah Wagner continues our live team coverage from St. Joe Center Road. Sarah? This farmhouse sits just across the road from us, right next to Arlington Elementary. We talked to several neighbors today, and nobody actually recognized Ensley, but they did say they've noticed several people coming in and out of the house during the last several weeks. State Representative Bob Morris confirmed to us this morning he owns this house and rents it. He would not say who he rents it to out of respect for his tenants. Morris also declined to comment on the situation, saying Councilman Ensley's personal life is not his business. In another police report filed last night, Ensley told police he recently purchased the farmhouse here on St. Joe Center. He went on to explain there isn't much furniture here right now because he's in the process of fixing it up. Today, he confirmed he's actually renting the farmhouse from Morris and hasn't bought it. He told us he started renting it a few weeks ago and is in the process of moving in. It's still not clear why Ensley and his girlfriend were at the house early Monday morning. You can find all of our coverage from the beginning of this story right now on Wayne.com. There you'll find full copies of the police reports, all of our interviews with Ensley, and the recording he actually took of the interaction with the officer. Reporting live from St. Joe Center Road, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.